Cause I'm rich and poppin' in, yeah Drip, little bit, little bit Uh, let me feel myself a little bit Little bit, little bit You ain't talking big, get out my way, little bit She gon' put it on me, that's a lot of it Four coops, four seasons, drop the top of it Bust down, but my wrist, time to talk a lot of I got both my girls, head to toe, designer Drip, little bit, little bit Uh, let me feel myself a little bit Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Oh, good looking return set up here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Jackson now. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the gun, Jackson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Jerry Rice, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. So many times when we talk about covers, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he was able to bat it away. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And that is incomplete. Jackson nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Now the first carry for Bush. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. 24-yard gain on the play. Marino will look to throw on first. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are going to take a first-quarter lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now Jackson on first down. And this will be incomplete. A physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Brings up third and two. And he 
he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Saquon Barkley, the ball carrier. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second down. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 39. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. Now the first carry here for Frank Gore. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. You'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four. On second down, Barkley. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 14. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now it's Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Giants have tied it here, and they can take the lead if they hit the PAT. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. The ball carrier. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy, but it's going to be second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Out of the gun, it's Marino. He'll get this to Clayton, it's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Bush, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. Dolphin 6. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll hand it off to Bush. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. He's Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. On second and nine, Marino. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And McCaffrey, the intended target, and it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Get 
from the shotgun. Marino. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Complete. From 17 yards out. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. Lining up for the point. And another touchdown pass for Dan Marino. Always had the big arm. Always had great touch as well. But that's going to go back, partner. 1984. I watched a phenomenon. Second year in the league for Dan Marino. How about these numbers? 5,084 yards passing, 48 touchdowns, 64% completions, and a 109 quarterback rating. All were career highs set in the second year, and the Dolphins went to the Super Bowl where they played the 49ers. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive talent. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Throwing on second and 14. Jackson. They're going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Giants! Tyreek Hill, 76 yards. And the Giants have tied it here, and they can take the lead if they hit the PAT. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post round? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? To return it, here's Reggie Bush. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back-and-forth first half. And ordinarily, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The people in the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. And the fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just tallying them up, aren't they? <laughs> they're watching this game. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays. But I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Marino's seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A five-yard gain on the play. On first down, they stick with Bush. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Right at the line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second and ten. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. 15 yards on the play. First down. On first down. Push. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness and he's chipping away at their confidence. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four and it brings up seven. Second and goal. Try to punch it across with Bush. At the three yards. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Three touchdown passes now for Dan Marino. And the Dolphins are once again going to retake the lead. 
So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. First and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on the... Oh, well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Ronnie Lott, the Hall of Famer, with a pick. And the return will stop right around the 25. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball... You can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. A gain of four. It's now second and six. At the to throw on second and six. Marino. Open man. He completes it to Judy. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. A three-yard pickup. And it's Marino to throw on third. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Intercepted. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own two-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Anderson to kick off. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Now Bush on the return. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The third quarter starts with a run by Gurley. Number two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. And on third and three, they decided to go with a dime package. Yeah. Six DBs. Yeah, you're right. They've got six out there. And it's third down. They'll keep it in the hands of Bush. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. 49-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. From just shy of midfield, Marino over the middle, it's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 36. A gain of 13, it's a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Bush, and he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Byron Jones. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties, and he's able to knock that one away. Play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Moreno here from the gun. 
And that one complete to Clayton. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 14. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half, and now seven on the game. On first down, push. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and... Play fake. Here's Marino. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. That's what I want to see. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. I think we all know the turnovers have a way of deciding games. And before you say something snarky, I realize that's not particularly astute. But in this case, how about the evidence right here in the third quarter? They've got the lead, moving the football, things looking good. And then... Yeah, so now a flip on the scoreboard with that pick six. And I don't know, the rest of this second half shaping up to be very interesting. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Morton Anderson. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here comes Johnson on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Let's take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit with their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Elvis Doomerville there on the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down now. It's Bush. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. By number 25. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and the Dolphins are going to get a fresh set of downs. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll throw on first down with Moreno. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Dan Marino. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. And that third counter there gives them the lead. And it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive. But without them, they're not winning this game. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At their own 33-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brought him down. A gain of two brings up second and eight. At the From the 35 on second down, Jackson. Now this is caught. It's Greg Olson. They'll give him eight on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Throwing 
now. Jackson on first down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now, that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little, a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Jackson on first down. They go with a screen to Gore. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. That is definitely what we call our defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. Brings up That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A first down carry for Barkley won't lead to much as he'll take this forward for maybe a yard. It's second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. At the 20-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not. you've got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Morton Anderson following the touchdown. Here's Anderson to kick it away. Now Bush on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At their own 28-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect and he's gonna get this inside the 30. He was now the Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Marino to throw and he can't get a throw away he's taken down. Give the sack to Lawrence Taylor. Protection certainly gonna need to be a bit better here on second and 16. It's a six-yard pickup to get him back to the original line of scrimmage with third down coming up. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. A 44-yard attempt.
Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. This throw caught at about the five. And they will get the timeout. So three seconds remaining, and they can trot out the field goal unit and try to send this one to overtime. The field goal of 19 yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And we are all tied at 29. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Except for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 31 yards there and a first down. We often poke a little fun at running backs past the age of 30. Oh, they're getting old. They can't run anymore. Well, he's showing past the age of 30, you can still have some nice runs like that. You certainly can, and I think that we're starting to expand our definition of old running back because it used to be as soon as they hit 30 we want to get rid of these guys and go to the younger guys but now that the guys are taking such great care of themselves as you pointed out you can still get explosive runs at any age that's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays and he'll take this one down near the 15. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal of the one. No quarterback sneak, no running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Second and goal from the six this time. A give. This is Bush. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now Marino. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. And absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.